Uh, so hi everyone. Today we will try to understand what is an AD Fuller test, intuitive understanding, and how it is able to check a time series for a stationarity. So it won't involve any mathematics, but just the intuitive explanation. Ki what is the ideology on which it is working on? So before jumping on to AD Fuller test, let's first of all understand what is a Dicky Fuller test. Uh, so Dicky Fuller test is a hypothesis test with a null hypothesis stating that a unit root exists for an AR time series. That is autoregressive time series, just for the AR models and not any other model. So you got it right. A null hypothesis stating that the unit root exists for a autoregressive time series. Uh, what is a unit root? Uh, I will be coming on to that. So first of all, let's uh, watch out this particular image. Here you can see that it's looking like a flowing water. Now a basic characteristic that you can uh, determine uh, see here is that the points are trying to converge at the left at the left bottom corner. Any line that is coming from any point is trying to converge onto that particular point. Now it is a very idle situation. Now in uh, any um, real world, this won't be the case. So you would be having certain disturbances as well. So here the uh, the flow is very clear. Here you will be having certain disturbance. Some points might be going there, then here, then there, and finally going to converge, right? So in a real world problem, there would be certain noises that is present. This is what the white noise we are talking about. We have in time series, if you remember. Now at times this error noise uh, this particular noise element can be so big that the entire flow might get diverged so you can see here that the points at a point uh, were trying to converge to the left bottom corner but as the error term becomes so big the noise in uh, the noise in the environment becomes so big that the entire flow change and now they are uh, all over the place they are not converging at all so any time series a sequence of number that is thought to behave like a certain flow Right, that we saw in the first and the second picture, where we are thinking that they will converge at the left bottom corner. The flow directions of any time series depends upon certain direction, characteristic directions, which are associated as numerically really called as a root value. So basically, the root value is nothing, but it is trying to give you an idea about the flow, the direction, the flow direction of a time series. So if this particular value is less than or equal to one. It means that the noise present in the data set is not that big and eventually the time series will converge else the time series won't converge. This is the whole idea. That is why we try to make our time series stationary because if the time series is not stationary, this means that time series won't converge at a particular point and it is hard to model it out. So similarly, the Fuller test states that an autoregressive process can be stationary if all the characteristic values are less than one in size. That is a unit root. Now, what is an AD Fuller test? So, AD Fuller test is an upgraded version of a Dickey Fuller test, where more complex models and not just autoregressive models are incorporated, and it follows the same ideology that whether it's Arima, it's uh, AR, it's MA, it's Sarima, it's Holt Winters, it can work for all types of time series. It is an upgraded version of Dickey Fuller test, stating that a unit root exists for uh, this particular time series and if the null hypothesis doesn't uh, is not validated we think that the time we state that the time series is not stationary